I just made Steven and I some muffins. Um, I just put them in the oven. And um, today we're going to be vlogging for you guys. But actually we're doing something else. As you heard from the title today, we are going to be pranking Steven by not saying I love you back for 24 hours. A lot of you guys have been requesting this video and so I am here to deliver for you guys. Steven is currently editing a thumbnail right now and then we are about to leave to go into Dallas, which is pretty far for us, but we're going into Dallas to go to Nebraska Furniture Mart. Actually, you know what? Steven and I will be talking to you guys here in a second because we still have to do our intro. So whenever Steven comes on the screen, just act like y'all never saw me. <laughs> Cause I don't even know if this is really a prank. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully he tells me he loves me today. <laughs> just kidding. The muffins timer just went off. Um, whoa, it just uh, fogged up the thing. I'm going to let them cook for like one more minute and then be done. Ugh, my hair looks so bad. I'm sorry, guys. So Madeline just informed me that we're vlogging today because we're going furniture shopping. So we're gonna bring you guys along with us. Yes, we're super excited. So we're mainly looking for a coffee table and possibly a sofa sleeper bed and maybe a couch but that's probably gonna have to be after we pay taxes oh a couch for like our living room, living room why yeah. are you already pulling out babe thought we were doing the intro oh my gosh so we are yeah like you said we're going to nebraska furniture mart i don't think we even told them where we were I, going no i don't think we did either we're going to nebraska furniture mart and we are super excited to look at the furniture and whatnot we like going in there for some reason and it's super far away that's what sucks is yeah. it's literally like an hour and a half away but we have to go there anyways to because Madeline sells stuff on Facebook or whatever, so. Yeah, I'll show you guys what it is here in a second that I have been selling. It's probably won't be selling them again. It's more for a Valentine's Day. And so we have to go into the Fort Worth, Dallas area anyway. And I thought, let's just stop by Nebraska Furniture Mart. Hopefully we don't find anything today because we're in my car and. Well, we can drop the seat back, which is good. because well, we can't if... fit a couch in here. Well, we're not gonna buy a couch today. Well, I'm talking about your sleeper sofa. Oh yeah, that's gonna suck. It yeah, will not it fit, fit at all. But anyway, you guys, so we gotta give a notification shout out to to Athena, thank you so much for having our notifications on and commenting done on our last video. If you guys want a chance to be up on the screen like Athena, make sure to subscribe down below, hit that bell so you get notified every single time that we post a new video and comment the word done on our video. Anyway, we're gonna go and we are super excited and we're gonna bring you guys along. Yeah, and that notification that I just got in Madeline's car said it's 39 degrees. What's funny about Texas is February through like March is our winter, usually. Yeah. It's gonna be in the 20s next week, which is insane for like four consecutive days. And it's funny because on Christmas it was like, wasn't it 70. warm? Yeah, it was like 70 <laughs> it's degrees. It's like 75 on Christmas. We'll see you in a little bit. All right guys, so we are at our first stop, which is a mall because we are meeting the guy here and he is about to be here. So this is what I made. I think they are super adorable and it's like a really big trend right now to do those, but I've just been selling them like locally. We're waiting, so yeah, I don't think we're gonna are we going into rooms to go we can oh you're gonna kiss you in the mouth but trying to cheek why why did it have you thanks you're welcome we're just waiting for the guy i think are we going into rooms to go yeah okay we can all right the guy's staring at us already and we haven't gone in, but we're at Rooms to Go. I can't remember the last time I went to Rooms to Go. I mean, it's been years. Look how cute this mirror is. It's cute. Just, Just like you, mate. <laughs> Thank oh, you. Love you. All right, guys, so we have left Rooms to Go and we saw a couple of things in there that we liked, like sofa wise, but. We're gonna go still to Nebraska Furniture Mart. Getting Just, gas right now. Yeah. Freezing outside. I think we've already. Well, I know, but I now it's even colder. It's, it's like 33 degrees right now. Um, I guess we'll see you guys when we get to Nebraska Furniture Mart. Cause we still have one more stop, but I'm not gonna film that because it's a random person. You don't want to film them? Probably not. I don't think they would like that very much. Put the camera up in their face and be like, hey, say hi to the vlog. <laughs> so he is being extra lovey today, which is like perfect. <laughs> Anyway, all right, I'm gonna go. Give me another receipt. Give me another receipt. It's very cold. You cold? What? You cold? Yeah. Okay, now, wait, hold on. I forgot to say, our next stop after the place is Culver's. Oh, yeah. So shout out to Lindsay and Ella. I forget where they were 
It was up north and to the east, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, they own their own Culver's, and so they gave us a gift card to our P.O. box, and we are going For to... For $50, so we're, we're going to have gonna to make try. a couple more trips. Up. You've never had it before, right? I've never had Culver's Me neither, before. so we're going to try that today while we're out because we don't have one near us. And, and I've heard great things about yeah, it. Yeah, and we have to go into the Dallas-Fort Worth area, so why not all right guys we're here at culver's and i'm about to order and i hate ordering in the drive-thru having a panic attack hey, hi this is chicken culver's colony how may i help you hi uh, i'm not really sure what to get because this is our first time at culver's welcome thank you let us know what you need and we'll try to help you awesome what's your favorite thing on the menu um are you in the mood for burgers fish I'm chicken. I'm in the mood for like a chicken sandwich or something like that. Chicken, uh, crispy chicken. The spicy chicken is really good. We also have grilled chicken. But if you're going for chicken, I would recommend the spicy chicken. It's really really popular. Okay, well I'm gonna do that in a meal. Do you guys do meals? Yeah, the spicy crispy chicken. <laughs> yes, please. I'll do that with. Um, I'll have a root beer for a drink. What else can you have, Dan? The order the buffalo chicken tenders. Do you want a meal? And the dipping sauce. Um, Ranch. With ranch, and then did you say a Dr. Pepper? No, um, a Mountain Dew. Oh, a uh, Mountain Dew for the drink on that. With fries? Yes, please, with fries. Any ketchup or cheese sauce? Uh, no thanks. What else can I have for you? We'll I, come back through and get I think that's gonna be it, but we'll be back for shakes afterwards. Thank you. Well, thank you so much, Lindsay and Ella. We are so excited and we'll come back whenever we got our food. We are definitely getting some shakes. Did you yeah, see the shakes? Yeah, they look so good. We'll like come the concrete back. shakes or whatever. Yeah, we'll come back because I don't want them to be sitting while we're eating. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah. Sorry that a bunch of this footage has been in the car, but honestly, we've been in the car for a long time. But we were about to go into Nebraska Furniture Mart and that place, like there's people helping, but they're not like following us around. I just wanted to come on here really quick and let you guys know that we have been doing really well with not eating out as much. We're trying to save money, so if my parents paid for dinner, of course we would yeah, go well, with them. Yeah, we're gonna go. His parents paid for our lunch the other day, so we went. But we've been really good about not eating fast food, and I'm very proud of us because I am a fast food fanatic. And like, I'm glad I have that an we obsession. have a gift card so we can actually eat out. Yeah, because craving fast food. So it was bad. really funny because Stephen yesterday was like, oh you do realize that means we have to eat out tomorrow because we're obviously in Dallas and I'm not gonna pack a lunch for us. But then I was like, hey, we have a Culver's gift card. So technically we're not really paying. So thanks to Lindsay and Ella again. Yes, thank you. So anyway, I just thought it was funny. I wanted to update you guys because I'm very proud of us. We've been doing very good. Like for a week straight, we did not have fast food. I'm no, we sure. didn't. There was a strand of your hair around your straw. Nice. And Madeline has been cooking food recently, like almost every night. Because well, she's we had, awesome. We had chicken taquitos yesterday, but. That was still good. <laughs> I, I'm down for that again tonight. Yeah. Actually, so but. thank you so much. Mm -hmm. You guys want to watch this? I love you. But anyway. I'm hungry. I'm waiting. Okay, we'll back. Eat. They just brought us our food. Oh my Those gosh. Those look freaking good. Okay, I'm ready. Ow, frick, it's hot. Okay, I'm ready too. Three, oh. Okay. I haven't bit it yet. Okay, three, two, one. Um, we're gonna go eat and we're gonna get a shake. You yeah. want? This is freaking good. Dip in the fry in there and see what it tastes mm. like. Yummy! Well, Culver's is definitely in a new... Now every time we go into Fort Worth, like, which oh, is kind of often, we can... Uh, we can say, let's get Culver's. Let's get Culver's. So this isn't like the main entrance, thank you, my lady, of Nebraska Furniture Mart. This place is huge, but we just parked in the parking garage because we've never been in there. This is my second time being here. Dude, this place is freaking enormous. We gotta find a bathroom because Madeline's gotta take a number one and I gotta, you know, I gotta do some other stuff. <laughs> I'm waiting for Steven right now and I haven't said I love you back to Steven and I don't think he's really noticed because he's only said it two times so far. I don't know if he'll say it again. I'm actually very shocked that he has said it. So I guess we'll just wait to see, but I'm just waiting for him to come out of the bathroom. You guys, he was like dying. It was really funny. The way he was walking was hilarious. So we just walked upstairs. Well, we rode an escalator upstairs, but yeah. you guys look how big 
This place is enormous. So we're yeah. gonna go ahead and look for coffee tables. There's some massage chairs cash. over there that I kinda wanna sit in. How cool would that be if we got a massage chair? So what we gotta do now, after we get, we're getting coffee table, we're gonna save up for a couch, and then we're well, gonna buy a massage chair. Well, we're, we need to get a sleeper sofa. Oh, that's and a right. coffee table and then a couch for our living room, but we already have a couch, so it's not like It's not necessary. necessary. It's just we want kind of something different now. But um, one thing I will say is the massage chairs, they're not very pretty. I wish they were like- They're a little ugly. I wish they looked not, like, not nicer, because they're really nice, but I wish it like went with our decor. Whoa. What? Someone's gum is down there. Well, we don't get this one. Huh? We don't get that one. Well, I know, I'm just saying oh. someone dropped their gum right there. How so much? this one is a hundred and ninety. That's that's a pretty good that's a pretty good price. Is it still too small though? I think so. I would want it to have like at least two more inches. It on it, it needs to be I want it to be more more of like a square, more than yeah. a rectangle, you know? The reason why we want like a bigger one is we feel like there's almost too much space in our living room that's not being utilized and we madeline wants to and do puzzles on it yeah i want to do puzzles on it because i don't hate doing it on our kitchen table because we can't eat food there and yeah. whatnot so i wanted to move to the coffee table but my cof the coffee table we have right now is just a little too narrow we love our coffee table and i think it my mom actually got filler. it for free <laughs> yeah is it awesome. is a perfect filler especially for right now because it's doing its job but now we're like ready to we need we want to size up, a little yeah, bit upgrade a little bit this one would be perfect it was it was just a little bit bigger like two inches more maybe three maybe five i really it's, like the color of it though. so do i i think that would look perfect in our in our house but what is good about this place is there's so many options we're like we haven't even gone through like a quarter of the store yet no not even 15 like, percent. there's stuff like way over there that we didn't go and like we didn't go through all this stuff like there's a lot there's a lot of stuff it's almost overwhelming i know so this is the one that we looked at originally 209 we don't know if it's too small yeah i don't know we wish we could visualize it i really like that big one that we saw earlier that is way too brown well, yeah if Our it colors aren't brown. dude if it was a different color then it would be perfect but i guess we can look at sleeper sofas for me it's only thirty nine hundred dollars. Why is it so expensive? Why is I don't know why it's so expensive. All, all of these here are gonna be super expensive. That one's twelve hundred bucks. Yeah, we're probably not gonna buy one here because it's a little like a bunch of. I really like this one. Probably it's probably gonna be like. Probably. It's huge. I'm gonna guess three three oh five. Two fifty nine. Not too bad. That's not bad for that big of a coffee table. One thing that bothers me though is there's no under storage. I'd oh, want that. Yeah. We, we kind of like this one. I think this is the one that we like. We do have to compromise because it doesn't have drawers or a bottom, but it's big enough to where we don't mind. So explain <laughs> what happened to that one over there. Okay, so this one was definitely my favorite. Well, wait, no, no. Hang Let's on, talk about that one over so there first. The one over there was not in stock. <laughs> Until and May. Until May. So I was like, can we just check to see if this one's in stock? Do you absolutely hate it, Steven? He said he didn't. I don't hate this one. I think it'll be nice, especially if we get light gray couches. Which we definitely want. We want to lighten up our living room just a little bit. So I definitely think this would be a good match. And it's in stock. It's actually cheaper too. Yes. And it doesn't have those grooves that the other one had. I was kind of worried about that because like crumbs and stuff would it'll always get, be... It'll get dirty. And so yeah. this one will be easier to clean. Yeah. Sorry, Steven. I always get my way. No, it's all right. It's... Just do it. I just do it because you're mine. Do it because I love you, man. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. So now we got to shop around for this really cool gaming chair that they have downstairs that's $14,000. Show it to them, but definitely not getting one. What was that, Madeline? What did you just say? I said, okay, whenever you get your couch, you can get whatever you want, but you have to keep in mind our guests. I know. Wait, are you talking about my... No, the couch in your office. I thought you were talking about the couch whenever we get... Oh, no. That is definitely what? the right decision I'm a part of. Okay. I think, I think I know what I want in my office. Either this green couch or this purple one. It's actually customizable, so it looks like you can get other... So which, which color should I get? Green or purple? Really nice. You want to get it today? No, not really. <laughs> nah, I think those actually are pretty cool if you want like a pop of color in your like room or whatever. All right, so we are down at the lower level. We went and got a cart because my purse was getting very heavy. But this is like a gaming area. It's like the man cave type stuff. Yeah, so we're going to go over and show you guys that chair that Steven was talking about. It's freaking enormous but first before we go over there look at these bikes they're like electric bikes yeah yeah these dumbbells 
you can, they're bow flex. You get so like five pounds. So you don't have ever pounds. like actually take it off. No, you just set it down, switch it to the weight that you want, and lift it up. Oh, cool. But they're 170 bucks each. Oh, nice. Steven and I have recently had a big obsession with like board games and card games. So we just wanted to look here. Steven was like, yeah, we came all the way to Nebraska Furniture Mart to buy a board game. Since we did buy a coffee table, there's nobody around me, so I'm taking out my mask. Don't freak out, guys. Since we did get a coffee table, I think we should buy board games to invite people over so we can play around our play coffee games. table. Because we're like, we're really big family people. We love having family over and like, we like to do board games. That's like our thing. You thinking about getting that for yourself? Thinking about our kids because Madeline just asked if we're gonna get our kids one of these and I said, yeah. And then I told her to turn on the camera, but like, I'm gonna get our kids one of these and I'm gonna like replace the batteries in there to like a 20 volt or like a 25 volt. Maybe even put a car battery in there. And so it'll go super fast. Not a car battery, but you know what I mean. Okay, so this is the $14,000 chair that I want. Please see, uh, yeah. Well, last time I didn't, so I don't yeah, care. Yeah, last time. So, if all of you guys want to Venmo us a dollar, just kidding. Don't, don't Venmo us a dollar. I will send it right back. If they actually did, that's crazy that we could actually be able to buy it. <laughs> but you are not going to be having this. Steven, it literally says stop and wait. All right, Steven, I'm ready to go. No. All right, Steven, I'm going to look at beds. Ah. You are so annoying. Dude, that chair is crazy though. Throwback to whenever we spent $400 on a Switch that you don't use. Okay, you guys, it's very dark in here, but it fit. <laughs> perfect. Perfect. I mean, like, literally perfect. When we get out in the sunlight, I'll show you yeah. guys. Look at that perfect fit. Insane. I wonder if we could have fit all the parts of the gaming chair. <laughs> Okay. All right. Well, you guys, we Take are. Take me home. I'm so excited. We got a coffee table. All right, babe. You've been complaining about being hungry. So yeah. Thank you. I love you. Love you. Are you kidding me? Say it back. Please. <laughs> Madeline. What? I don't get, like, why did you not say it back to me? Why are you acting like nothing's, like... Say what back to you? I told you I loved you, like, four times a day, and you did not even say anything, so... And now you're ignoring me. As soon as I said I love you, you started playing on your puzzle. I don't know why... And now you're still doing your puzzle. I don't know why I have to say it back to you. Well, imagine if the roles were reversed, Madeline, and you told me that you loved me, and I just ignored you. Straight to your face. Okay, well, I don't always have to say it back. I don't get why. It doesn't make sense. Do you not love me? Shut up, dude. I know you're f***ing around. I don't get why you're acting like that. Hello? So now you're not going to talk to me? Nope. Please get that out of my face. What? I said please get that out of my face. Why? Because that's the wide angle lens. It's zoomed in. Why do you want to your face? Stop, because I don't want it in my face. Why? Madeline was pissing me off earlier. I'm going to put that in the video. That, you're, <laughs> that I'm pissing you off? Yeah. Why? Why'd you turn off the camera? I already know this is a prank, dude. I don't what? Wanna, I don't want to talk Stop about it. Stop that, babe. I don't want to talk about it. All right, I know it's, I know it's a prank. What is a prank? I can tell by your face you're pranking me. <laughs> what? Stop. <laughs> I don't want to be on camera anymore. All right, guys, the gig's up. I started, I wasn't laughing, but I was definitely like smiling. I was like trying to do my puzzle, like not looking at Steven. So he actually turned off the camera, like right after he first asked me, like, why, don't, why won't you say that back to me? I said, I love you, like the most I have ever had in my entire life. And I didn't get one back. Did you keep saying it just to wait for me to say yes. it back? <laughs> yes, I did, because you never said it back. Yeah, because I actually, I was saying, I was like, I don't know if Steven's even going to say it to me, because I feel like I'm normally the one that's like, I love you, Steven. Like, you know, I feel like I'm more the one saying that. And so I was like, I don't even know how we're going to get him to say it. All right, guys, well, we're tired, so we are going to sign off of this video. But actually, I want to show you, I am oh, starting a new puzzle. The, can we show the coffee table? 
Oh yeah, I don't think we did. I don't think we've even filmed since we've gotten home. So we got our new coffee table set up. Steven did it all. And I've already ruined it by I putting. Like to say, I didn't have to read the instructions really. So. Oh, you're so cool. Yeah. Um, I've already ruined it by doing a puzzle. And this is the puzzle that I'm currently doing. I'm super excited. You guys will probably see it soon, especially on my Instagram. So if you guys want to follow that right here, you can. But I'm super excited to get it done. Are you excited? I'm excited for it to be done so I can have a clean coffee table. I'll be on to the next. Let's get you a coffee table in your office where you can <laughs> do one. Specifically for my puzzle. You should show how clean the kitchen is because I clean the kitchen. Yeah, they didn't even know what it looked like before. It looked like butt. Yes, even did clean the kitchen. Thank you. I love you. And you know I, I love you too, Madeline. Thank you for saying that. You deserve a kiss. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed. If you did, please don't forget to give it a like. Make sure to subscribe down below and be one of the first 100 people to comment done to possibly have a shout out in our next video. And we hope you guys are having a great day or night whenever you're watching this. We hope to see you guys in our next video. Bye, Bye guys. guys.